Okay, question number twenty-two. This is the um, this is the question about two circles, two concentric circles, and uh, we want to calculate what? We need to come up with a diagram. Okay, the the diagram. Uh, let me draw the diagram on new new board. Okay, so let's draw the circle of size uh, radius twenty and the circle of radius. Uh, 17. Okay, and they are they are actually concentric circles. Okay, so okay, I'm going to move the big circle a little bit. Well, let me see which one is easier to move. Okay, big circle. Move the big circle. It's concentric. Okay, not very accurate because uh, you know I do want to uh, I do want to uh, to make the triangle bigger. Okay, so the triangle is kind of a the triangle is is uh, tangent. One side is tangent to the small circle, and the other point is on the big circle. Okay, and then also we know that the line connecting that point A and the center is. Uh, that line, okay. So let me mark this. This is A, this is B, this is C, and uh, there is a point of tangent here, and there is an intersection P, and we have a point O here. So this point P, actually, we have a BP to PC is one to three, okay. So let me write it on board. BP to PC is uh, no, 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 three to one, three to one is equal to three, three to one. Okay, so three, two, one, and then we want to find out what is the side length AB. Okay, so so now let's let's actually find the midpoint of BC. Okay, this point, and then okay that point and the P and uh, also but they, they they're gonna P is gonna be the midpoint of on this side. Okay, so let's actually make each portion X. This is actually separate the BC into four portions, four portions of equal length, X, and the P is at one of the points, right? So this is uh, uh, this is uh, BC, and BC and AB are the same. So what we are looking for is actually 4X. Okay, so let's look at uh, something else again. So this, uh, what, what else we can calculate, right? So connect O and uh, this point, uh, this point we call it the tangent point of BC to O. We call it T. Okay, we call it T. So let's actually draw the OT. This is perpendicular to BC. Okay, we know that OT equals 17. Okay, and then we also know that OA equals 20. OA equals 20. So let's actually figure out some of the. So we connect A in the midpoint of BC, and uh, this point, midpoint of BC, let's call it B. Okay, OB. Now uh, AB is uh, AB is uh, what? It's uh, actually two root three times x. Okay, and now we actually have what? Uh, a similar triangle, a pair of similar triangles, and so let's calculate AP. AP is actually equal to the square root of what? Of AB squared plus BP squared, and we know BP equals x. AD is equal to 2 root 3x. So the square of that is 12x squared plus x squared. So this is equal to square root of 13 times x. AP is square root of 13 times x. Okay, that's pretty good. And then we also have the, uh, and we also have the two ratios of the green, the green lines. We have the ratio 17 over 2 root 3. 17 over 2 root 3x 
is equal to the AP, uh, OP to AP, OP over AP. We have that equals, OP is equal to 20 minus root 13 X over, uh, OP, uh, AP is root 13 X. So in that case, we just need to solve for X, right? So the, 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 yeah, the, the X on the bottom, two X on the bottom cancels. We only have one place for X. So to solve it, uh, should be pretty straightforward. Uh, except for we have, we have those, uh, square roots in place. So let's carry those in place. 17 root 13 over 2 root 3 is equal to 20 minus root 13 x. So then, okay, let's solve this. Let's solve this. So we, we have root 13 x equals 20 minus 20 minus 17 root 13 over root 3, 2 root 3. So then root 13 divided by root 13, x equals 20 over root 13 minus 17 over 2 root 3. And the, the length we're looking for is actually 4x, so we multiply by 4. 4x is equal to 80 over root 13 divided by, uh, no, minus, 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 uh, cancel the 2, and then we have 34 over root 3. Okay, so the question asking for these four numbers, okay, 80, 13, 34, and 3. So if we add these two, four numbers up, okay, 34, plus, okay, should be 80, plus 34 plus 13 plus 3. So this is going to give us, uh, okay, 60, um, 50, 130. So let's see if 130 is an, is an answer choice. That's an answer choice. So answer is B. Okay, now 23. 